Hello. We're gonna be playing a little bit of Hearts of Iron. Today we are gonna be playing France, but uh, not the usual France that you know and potentially love. I'm not even sure what's the best course of action here. I guess I'm still gonna revive the national block just for laissez-faire and I mean all of these juicy beautiful buffs. I'm just gonna build a few Sith factories down here for no particular reason and uh, Honestly, don't think it really matters what I do here. We can go to war with Germ. <laughs> this was not my plan, but let's go for a little bit, of little bit of chaos today. Yes, Germany must be dealt with now. Wait. Wait. Why did Germany back down? I shot my entire army. You're a pussy. Sure, we can get some more communists in government, but uh, I have bad news for you. We shot the communists. And then let's go for laissez-faire. It's so much better. After two years, I think you get, yeah, after two years, you get one of these economic buffs and you get free research bonuses for 150%. That is so insane. That is a weird event. Why would I ever pick the minus 5% stability? Okay, dispersed two and construction two. And then let's get the workhorse. I'm not gonna use my MIO to research here. We don't have PP, we need to spend every single one with as much sense as we can. And then let's get a very early dispersed tree. It's a bit of ahead of time, but a, a lot of ahead of time, but also I... Mm, <laughs> let's be honest, this is not worth it to get with the ad ahead of time penalty, but also I'm playing as France. I'm not gonna be doing anything for the next two years. And then uh, I probably won't be doing anything at all. Only this one is so much better than all of this you get over here. And then you get a bunch of other stuff as well. That's cool that I added MIOs to this focus though. I do like that. Mm, uh, I don't know. Okay, now hmm. let's devalue the Frank. I don't know why we don't like Frank, but I'm just going to do it. He was the guy who did fuck all in our group assignment, somehow managed to delete the entire repository and then at some point claimed that he did some work that he didn't do. This one is for you, Frank. Then we can get Philippe Croissant and let's get Professional Officer Core. That is a very weird... Yeah, okay, the, this line is fine, but this one? Ground attack on my fighters? I know you can do cast with fighters, but why? And I can't be asked to use MIOs again. Just looking at the MIO screen just took so much out of me. I assume this is just fighter and carrier fighter, so it's not gonna apply to heavy fighters, which is the current meta, so this is absolutely useless. I'm gonna focus on developing the French stuff over here. From now on, I'm just gonna focus on mill factories because the war is approaching. What? Infantry tanks designer? What does that mean? It's just kind of random everything. Eight Sith factories, that's, I mean, it's actually pretty good. Don't really care about that though. I am more interested in getting core école. <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. <coughs> Oh, would you look at that? Armored car. Okay. I don't even have to look at that. Research slot and then I do have to hurry. I do want the mill factories in Brittany, of course. And if I'm not quick enough, then somebody is gonna steal Brittany from me. I think I'm just gonna wait for Warricorn at this point. We are going to leave the checks to their fate, which is also why I didn't have to do by time. God, playing France without <laughs> removing a disjointed government sucks. But hey, uh, the game has not started yet properly for us, so maybe it's gonna be huge and fun and super. And then let's get military factories. Oh, 
that focuses legitimately called military factories. <laughs> Why are you not going for war with France? Okay, I can join the Allies. Let me join the Italian-British war. Oh no, the Germans are attacking me. Uh, how could I have seen this for coming? Defeat! We can do a bunch of things here. We can continue the fight, which is historical. We can merge with Britain, where Britain gets course on all of our French land for as long as the war goes on. So once the war's over, they will lose all of the French course. Or we can collaborate with the Germans. The fight for France continues, but not with us, because we are dirty little kieslings. Oh, wait. I didn't even know that oh, we shoot everybody in our cabinet. Oh, God. I thought we kept all of this. So I legitimately just spent an hour doing nothing. I guess we can do some emergency powers to Patan, the little roach. Do, do we have... I guess we keep our research at least. Why did I set up the MIOs, man? I just lost everything. Why did I read all of this crap? <laughs> Let's play Vichy France. It's gonna be fun. I don't think anybody has ever said this. One of these days, I'm gonna make a screenshot of every single one of these. Although I can already tell a few of those, I am starting to know by heart. God, this sucks, this designer. We only have the screen design. <laughs> I might not have liked the French designers, but I kind of want them back now. And I don't have any XP. Why does anybody play Vichy France? I'm sure only content creators such as myself play as Vichy France because haha, <laughs> look at, look at Vichy France. Haha, <laughs> France, surrender. Haha, 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 croissant, baguette, haha, <laughs> uh, frog leg. Um, that is as much as I know about France as I, I don't know more about France than this. To any French person watching this, feel free to call me a clout or a bosch anytime you want to. I really thought we would at least keep our XP values and such, you know? That's usually what happens when a civil war starts. We lost 100 factories just now, man. I guess I'm gonna get Alphonse anyway, because the only thing that's interesting to get is war econ at this point. I'm just gonna train these guys indefinitely. I'm just gonna wait a little bit longer for our fourth industry research buff. And then let's get a whole two SIF factories after we lost our entire country. Oh well, after we lost 100 factories. Look at our factories go up. Wow! We have all 18 factories to produce with. Well, at least we kept most of these guys. But it was super important that we got the two additional resource slots. Without them, we legitimately couldn't do anything here. Definitely just pump up our conscription law to extensive next. And then after that, probably export focuses down. Wow, we hold on to Syria. Wait, wait, how did you get here? The rest in our focus tree is kind of useless. We can get the anti bolshevist volunteers, which is pretty good. 10% attack and defense against the Soviets, but also I don't really care that much about it. There we go. Medium flame tank. Now into China. All of the stuff that I developed. How did you? How did you lose Sardinia? Honestly, I'd rather play Spain. It's insane that I'm saying this, but I'd rather play Spain than Vichy France. We don't even have a fascist guy. I think you're not supposed to play as Vichy. Okay. No, 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 no. Don't. Don't do this, my friend. My. Come on. You have such a nice mustache, please. Also, I find it crazy that this guy has the fuckboy haircut. That doesn't fit with World War II. We shall be of great help to the Germans. Are you serious? We can be annexed by the goal. And we would keep all of our units here. Ooh. I guess you can now also comp- Yay. I don't think I want Italy in my faction. It's 1943 and I can join the war now. I'd rather play Spain. I think I'd prefer to play Free France over Vichy France. Because then I can be like, yeah, I'm gonna retake the mainland and we're first gonna knock them out of Africa and... But like this? The stupid mustache man does not want me to play as... I mean, doesn't like me, so... Let us unite France again. Now we just need to give me like... Oh, Jesus. Oh. Now I have to deal with a country that the AI took over. Yo, this is like my favorite episode of Country Roulette. All right, let's take the entire army, stack them up. Okay, 100 units, that's something. Let's all turn you into Division de Infanterie. And all of these units are obviously green. <laughs> oh, why am I playing Vichy France? Well, 
no more. We can now retake all of our core territory and even a bit of Italy. Just have to hope that Spain doesn't join the Axis. And you're on partial mob after the, all this time. Now that we have properly annexed the entire Vichy forces, we actually have proper templates. No! Oh, of course I don't have our tech tree. Oh, shit. Fuck's sake. It 100% makes sense, but that doesn't make it better. Definitely gonna take this. 2% research speed if it's nothing. We can deploy our fighters, but we don't have any fuel, so there's no point to doing that. And Circle Mad, yes. War score. Do we have some? Oh, we have 2%. We're gonna be rich after this war. Sure wouldn't mind researching rocket artillery. Or having it researched. I guess I can still use the age-old tactic of letting the Germans grind up against me. <laughs> I don't have any radio tech. What have you researched the entire time? This made the D-Day relatively simple for the allies. The AI just had no garrisons on... I guess you're preserving manpower by doing this. Yo, the Germans are taking damage from a 600k for 65k. And I just have line infantry, I don't even have planes. I mean, I do have the allied planes here, but nothing from my side at least. What happened here? <laughs> right, the fourth medium tank that I designed in this game. Okay, I think the Soviets are helping us a little bit here. We might be able to sneaky sneaky. Yes, come on. Why do I need con- Oh no, don't tell me my- I'm playing free France. My capital is down here. Oh, of course, of course. It would be kind of neat if you could move your capital in Hot Farm. Especially if you've capitulated. Because I won't be able to produce anything. Because I don't have fuel, so I can't even protect all of this stuff. I guess I can hope for Japan to cap us. Yes! Amazing! Now that these are all cut off, they should start freaking out and potentially even leave the front line. If we wait long enough, the Soviets will have killed Germany. But I also kind of don't want this to be my victory. So let's at least retake Brittany. Yeah, I don't care. I'm just gonna do an auto push here. We're gonna take damage, but that's fine with me. I would rather get a little bit more war participation to at least get my French stuff back, please. I have a feeling this is gonna be a very red Europe once we're done here. Oh, D-Day! A bit late in a lot of different... No. Paradox. No. I do not deserve the Italian puppet. With all due respect, I've not done anything here. How far do you think they are at capitula into capitulating? If you said 66%, you are cheating. And correct, I guess. Come on, please support attack here. Yes! Come on! The last fucking thing that we took from France. Ah! Look at my resources. I can finally import stuff again. Oh, we are no longer capitulated. Yay! Um. <laughs> Freedom Front, 0% change in popularity. Okay, 300. Oh, come on, give me my stuff back. I don't think I can really make that many demands here. That's relatively historical. A thick curtain, if I do say so myself, though. Ooh, the Soviets don't even have that many planes. Wait, the Soviets are at war with Japan, fighting an offensive war. But why? I really don't know how the so attackers war goals. Nothing. Okay. Oh, we can also begin rearmament again. Ooh, worth it. This entire focus tree is... Uh, it's super worth it. You get four mill factories twice and you can even do the super long ah shame <laughs> we can't get seven resource slots would have been cool <laughs> but you can get this stuff multiple times i guess yay and we need more rt more aa more medium flame tanks and also train them <laughs> wow finally an infantry specialist the first useful guy that we can get oh that's a lot of rubber that we need now ah okay italian independence they need to be at peace so if we just continually go to war then italy can't be bullshit to us i guess that's neat at least oh i have 10 points the marcus islands i genuinely got something out of this <laughs> soviet japan oh that's a lot of it's a very red world uh let's just change this then and i hope you don't get any funny ideas needed 30 received zero and stockpiles 520 let me just quickly reload there we go i am a genius increase declared war on turkey that's a bad timing because i kind of need to declare war on the soviets now and then we can draw a big front line 
into Siberia. Ah, fuck, I'm democratic, I don't have collaboration government, so this is gonna take ages. With Napoleon due to... Saipan! That's not very cash money of you, Stalin. Time to call my allies in. You shouldn't have any planes anymore. Actually, what the fuck, where did you get those planes from? Yes, China's on my side for... I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, sure, take your freedom. I don't have collaboration governments on the Soviets, so this is gonna take ages anyway. I might as well use the help from the Italians and let them be free. I'm gonna do exercises for all of these guys. Ah, right, 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 right. That explains a little bit. I'm an absolutely fucking moron. How do I remember to breathe sometimes, man? There we go, let's get a few refineries going. That's probably more important, considering I'm legitimately trading away half of my civilian factories. Communist China joined the Allies. Wow. China and Communist China fighting side by side again. Anschluss of Austria, again? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna encourage immigration. Number one, the French Union is just bad because it never works. Like it's just a flat percentage. And number two, we also still have factory output debuffs. From that. Still trading the planes. But it's a relatively slow endeavor, considering I don't have that huge of an industry. Oh, well, I, I mean, you do have the industry, I just don't have the resources for the industry. I have zero oil, so even if I got tanks, it's not really worth it just yet. State of Japan joined the Allies. Uh, that's kind of bad. Actually, I think the Allies will actually push <laughs> Soviet Japan out. <laughs> Invest in our weaker allies. The UK is a weaker ally. I think I just gave my French viewers a bonheur. We can still ban communism twice. <laughs> we can super ban it. Why do we have seven metropolitan France states? Wait, is that based on um, infrastructure? No, according to the wiki it is just in two different, two random owned court neighboring states. I don't know why I have seven here. I also don't know why I have seven here and not LG. Like, that should be ten. What are the allies doing? <laughs> I do like how Bulgaria is just in the midst of this world war. Just neutral. If you ever are in a pickle, just throw a few tanks at it. I think that applies to real life as well. This is not legal advice. We're just not responsible for any legal charges. There we go. That is... A pretty decent encirclement, if I do say so myself. Sure, I'm gonna do the defensive stratagems. Probably break the game, crash it. Wouldn't be the first time. Fuck, I just have another 80 Italian divisions. How lazy do I wanna be? About this lazy. I always knew it in my heart that Denmark was the rightful owner of Russia. Could you imagine being in a relationship and at dinner having to say, hey honey, today at work I played Vichy France. I'd be embarrassed. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, I fucking hate this game. This is so. This, is, this game is. Why am I still playing Hearts of Iron? There's no available land route, huh? What makes you think that? Should probably switch to trucks now. Uh, yeah, it's not worth it to have these non-existent, mechanized... Oh no. What is it with Hearts of Iron and editing unit templates? That's punishment for playing Vichy France. Oh my god, the Soviets are so close to capping, what? That was way too quick! I guess having Vladivostok helped. Without that, it sh should have taken another 5 billion years over here are no VPs. Second most most points. Ah, the Polish army, but I freed you. I even made sure that the powder keg of Europe will no longer exist. The Balkan can no longer be a problem in this timeline. Oh, that's actually a nice China border. As scuffed of a border as I can, or as scuffed of a country as this is, I even took the I wanted to take just a penis province, but uh, I guess not even that I can get today. Don't play Vichy. Just, just play fucking normal, stupid ass France with fascists. Don't play stupid. Don't play Vichy France. 